Hey, what's going on, guys? Ravi here from Ira FX, along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we're going to be learning to convert a vertical video into something like this. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a vertical video in my project. Let me drag this video to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created with this video settings. So now we'll be converting the sequence to 1080p resolution in such a way that this video fits in it. In order to do that, I'll go to the sequence and click on sequence settings and I'll then change the video resolution to 1920 by 1080. So you can set this to 1080p, 720p or you know Ultra HD 4K. It all depends on your requirement. So in order to fit this video inside our horizontal sequence, uh, this is what people usually do. They'll just scale this up in such a way that it fits completely inside our sequence. But you lose the quality and the portions above and below are cut. So in order to avoid that, uh, this is what we're going to be doing. I'll right click on my video and click on this set to frame size. So now you can see that it fits in properly inside our horizontal video. And now we'll have to cover the black portions that you have to the left and right. In order to do that, I'll hold Alt on my keyboard and drag this video to the top just so that it gets duplicated. I'll click on the bottommost video and increase its scale value in such a way that it fits in entire screen just like this. So in social media you'll usually see that there's a vertical video like this and the background is the same video but it's just blurred. So we'll be applying a blur effect by going to the effects panel and typing in blur. So you can apply a camera blur or a Gaussian blur. In this case I'll apply a Gaussian blur onto the bottommost video and I'll increase the value to around 30. I'll just click, check the repeat edge pixel so that nothing is blacked out. And now we are done with the effect. So I believe this is an ideal approach to use a vertical video inside a horizontal standard resolution video. So you have enough space around your vertical video here so that you can add some captions or some images and make your content pop up i hope you like this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfx guide mr zebo would you like to add something subscribe for more tutorials Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.